both. So today we're gonna do a um, food haul. So I'm gonna show you what I bought. Let's do this. This is five kilos. For one person, it's gonna last a while. Those are the sauces I cannot live without. Here is the vinegar. It's from a place in China and it's very famous of its um, vinegar and it's called Zhenjiang and no idea that spelling it probably Cantonese I don't know but it's called Zhenjiang and this is the one that's good I'm gonna show you which one is not good this you can see it's empty and I only bought like maybe a week ago and I finished really quickly because it's really really diluted so I would say avoid this one okay not good Normally I buy two bottles of light soy sauce and dark soy sauce because when it's coming to Chinese cooking we use more light soy sauce for the flavor and the dark one really is just for the color, it's not as important and this one is called Hai Day I don't know but it's Ch in Chinese it's Hai Tian this is a really good brand so if you go to any your local supermarket this is the right one to get dry shiitake mushroom is another very important thing to have in your cupboard if you want to cook any asian food you can buy the fresh ones it doesn't taste the same and the way we eat it how you eat it is just um, soak them in cold water and eventually it will soak up all the liquid it is good for soup stir fry anything anything the flavor is just the best let's let's come to the the tofu section it's really firm as you can see here firm bean curd normally when i buy tofu, tofu i buy firm ones because it's just more versatile it's a lot easier to cook you can cook them many different ways you fry them stew them making salad marinade whatever you want it's this like is the really good substitute of meat if you're trying to go vegan or vegetarian is really really good buy the firm ones so i bought two because i eat a lot of tofu you can buy it from any supermarket chinese supermarket or even sainsbury tesco i think they all sell this the texture is really really silky it's perfect for making salad or making some sort of smoothie is perfect this is a super dry tofu what you can see here it's folded up basically it's a massive sheet of tofu what i do with this is i chop it into like um noodle thin strings and you can cook them stir fry or quickly cook boil water and then make a salad or in soups just whatever you want it is super good here <laughs> here we have something that you probably have never seen in your life this is is called a blood tofu the texture is a bit like a silky tofu but it's made of blood and this one is dark blood tofu and it's really tasty and especially this and that looks too boiled in some sort of spicy soup oh perfect they're basically dried bean curd and flavor this one is satay flavor and i also got the barbecue flavor if you like savory snacks and and i made soybeans basically all my life is made of soybeans okay there are eggs cooked in clay that have been fermentized over time and the egg become jelly like the color becomes like um caramelized sugar color and we normally eat it with a salad it's a very very unique taste leave a comment below if you want to know how to cook this i can show you my recipe how we eat this but i can't guarantee that you're gonna like this this is a very hardcore chinese food so is that those two are hardcore only <laughs> i love these sweet corns so the sweet corn you get from regular supermarkets are really crunchy no matter how long you cook them they're just crunchy so this is okay, let's see if this tells you mm, doesn't really say it just says sweet corn 99 percent i mean what's the other one percent <laughs> anyway this is like a really i would say this is like the sticky rice version of sweet corn so it's quite it's really sticky 
very satis satisfying to eat it and this is cooked already so you just need to microwave for a few minutes and it's just oh it's a great snack or breakfast i love them this is called chinese garlic i think it just was grown from uh, garlic i don't know exactly what it is to be honest with you but it tastes like garlic and it's super nice stir fry and it's crunchy it's garlicky it's just lovely if you can get hold of this please do so i think everyone knows this it's just pack choice that's what you call it here but we call it bai cai and um i like the one from chinese supermarket only because it's bigger i need a lot of this this is a Chinese leaf and I don't think there's much I need to say about this. Everyone knows what that is. And the one you get from Chinese supermarket normally are really big, so I love that. That is coriander. I mean, you can get coriander anywhere, but I like the one from Chinese supermarket or Asian supermarket. I don't know because there are different varieties or something. They're just a lot stronger. Like it's just really coriandery. It's yeah, I like the punch that this gives. So if you really like coriander flavor, give this a try. And this is spinach. It's also a little different from the spinach you get from regular supermarket. Normally you get spinach leaves, but this is the whole um, spinach, and it's really a lot more versatile than just the leaves. It's good for stir frying or in soups. I love this shit. Here we have this gigantic, um, what do you call this? A radish? A muli, I think that's a name, but it's called um, bai luo bo in Chinese. And this one is just so big. I'm just showing you how big this is. <laughs> Oh, it's gigantic, but it's really useful. So, <laughs> lamb slices. It's really, really thin machine sliced lamb that you can't really get this thin at home. And normally, I use this for a hot pot, but it's also very useful for any other cooking soups. Just put a, a few slices in, it's perfect. The last bit is the little snack section I got. This is called Ma Hua. It's basically fried doughs. I used to have this as a kid. I'm not sure this is going to be the same kind, but I'm quite looking forward to this. You can see? It's like fried doughs. It's going to be crunchy and nice. Just look. She looks happy. <laughs> And here I got some milk tea and they are matcha flavor because I'm a huge fan of matcha just like any old Asian. I bought two kinds. This one is with, mixed with the pearl and raisin. I thought that's just odd. Raisin? But it has matcha so I thought give it, give it a go. And this one I was shocked when I opened it because when I bought it I just saw the picture as a matcha I thought yeah yeah. I buy it, but when I open it, it says matcha and peas. What? I mean, why? But so we're gonna find out is matcha and pea are a good combination. And that's not the only matcha thing I got. I got two more. Here we have a matcha cookie. I really just in the mood for matcha, so I saw the matcha cookie. So I'm in the picture. It's so green. Oh, I just want them. And here we have a matcha flavored Oreo. I mean, I haven't had Oreo since I don't know in primary school, and this is matcha flavor, and I'm just so excited. So I think that's everything, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.